So are we guys are having fun, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about something happy. Okay. If you are optimistic about yourself, you must find life beautiful. Once you experience some joy brought by music, art, nature, society, friends, anything. There was a time you found hope was high and life worth living. This evidence was mostly caused by interest. This is extremely important because they're innovative, exciting, and encouraged. Look at what you think beautiful. You may like it for various reasons, but one of them must be your inner preferences. To conclude this seemingly general phenomenon, in another word, you discover hope that changes your mood, impacts your behavior, and even sets purpose for you because you like what you find. However, more time in your life is fulfilled with relationship crisis, endless policies, tests, meetings, mean bosses, teachers, competi compet competitions in the office, and so forth. Can you even spare some time each week for subjects you actually care about, without any external force? The answer is obviously not quite. How many times you decide to play sports by delaying it by moving for an exam? You turn down a party you already wanted to go, just to work an extra shift so that your boss can give you more projects with bonus. Those might be your tendency in your life. But later on, you start to lose interest in doing your first option. According to WorkplaceTrends.com, that polled over a thousand work professionals, 65% are expected to be more available outside of work, both by email and by phone. As a result, 45% of the workers feel they don't have enough free time. Their job is colonizing their entire day, not just nine through five. Time is equally constrained, as you may see. But if you live for living, little will be left in your initial goals. When people say they have no wish for life, they cannot define something as inspirational or passionate. They usually lose interest in most parts of their time. This feeling can develop anxiety in the long term, which can further lead to depression, a mood disorder that causes persistent feelings. Of sadness and loss of interest, the National Institute of Mental Health estimates that over 16.2 million U.S. adults had at least one major depressive episode in 2016, and that represents 6.7 percent of the U.S. adult population. The World Health Organization estimates that over 300 million people worldwide suffered from depression. It's also the leading cause of disability. The essentiality of interest makes me think that I once was not in the mood as well. So when you think of it, that I mentioned not in the mood, I was referring to another story. One of my existing hobbies to play the piano. I used to have bickers with my parents,、um, especially when、um, they were shouting at me, and I ignored them with my more provoking performance on the piano. I played it for almost ten years. Sounds like a huge span of time, but I lost piecemeal interest in playing the instrument in eighth grade. I tried to explain the reason to myself that I only missed a few days of practice because of academic work. What I cannot lie to myself was that this inclination of this experience was diminishing inside me. A few weeks, a few months. To a later time, I only counted the days I played it. I did not have a desirable time either, for I could not determine myself throughout these years. I wasted a lot of chances. Faced a couple of times of failure, including my senior high entrance exam. My days were indeed getting tougher than ever. I spent most of my time in the fake numb appearance and cruel struggling mental stage. I cultivated fear, deception, passivism, and hedonism. Moreover, I could not find a reason to calm down myself because I was pressed by the surrounding. My ever-growing conflicts 
with my family, the departure of friends, my exhaustion for study, the days of being left behind in school made me feel devastated. I could not remember the last time I truly relaxed myself or captured some objects to express my feelings. One day I was so frustrated because I was squeezed out from a project's leading role by a girl I had an issue with. I've conducted it for weeks and now she got to take all the credits by disciplining it in front of the whole school. I went home and suddenly threw my bag at a room door and tore all the papers containing days and nights of work. I sat on the floor for a while and then went to the edge of the room door to fetch my bag. The room used to be the piano room for me. It, it always was. The only difference was its emptiness used to be fulfilled with melodies. I guess it was the eager to express drove me inside and sat right in front of the piano. I looked around. No one was in the room or the house. I barely recalled the last time I walked in. I opened the instrument hit the first note, and then the whole piece. Nothing happened after that. Nothing but my mood lifted, and I suddenly realized that I sensed peace again. Nothing seemed quite necessary for me during that time but to remain this peace. I almost forgot the indignation a few minutes ago and can finally perceive some relief. What I'm trying to say was that I grew in fact affection in this partner that accompanied my childhood once again, and I did not let it go this time. I thought I had problems, and it was like I had to go through them because it was the difficulty anyone could encounter. Every time I was caught up by a dilemma, I consoled myself. Nothing can be a trouble after you play something. Instead of a accomplishing insanity or becoming absolutely psycho, I repressed with a simple process. We found that in general, the more engaging creative activities, the better you'll do, said Kevin Elskiman, an assistant professor of psychology at Francisco State. I think playing the piano helps me to be creative. When there is an interest, there is a hope. And when there is a hope, beauty can consequently be formed. Now, I can imagine some of you may be perplexed about your interest, how to determine it. So please divide this with your talent. You could collect all the heroes from Legends of League, but when it comes to designing a computer game, you're not that imaginative. You could be excellent at cooking, but you only make dish for you and your family's need. In fact, you may, may be afraid of killing yourself when holding that knife. Figuring out your interest means you sink in it and not get out quickly. How to distinguish or define your interests from a list of things you're good at. Time is the clearest proof. A couple of years ago, after paying so many efforts, my cousin finally got tired of drawing and she quitted everything related to mirror painting. That's her work. She later told me that Handcrafts such as paper cuttings and better design were her real things. Even though she could draw impressively way better than other family members. Don't look at me. That's not my work. No, that's not. Although she told me she found her interest in drawing again now, she still admitted that her interest played a huge role in quality of work. Speaking of which, how many of you have a clear-cut interest that you have been working on for years? If you do not have it, you can try some spirit-lifting activities that used to be influential. What can make you who you are can be considered first. The most direct way to attempt something is to try something you haven't done for a while. Connecting an old friend, going to the gym, hiking, dancing with your favorite music. There must be certain part in this world where you attain belongingness. Once you acquire such interest, how to maintain it without letting it float away? First, you need to be aware that how significant your interest means to you, that you cannot risk losing it. Spare some time with it. Practice with seriousness and be consistent. 
I tended to press the piano over eight hours a week, which means I spend at least an hour on the piano every day. As it gradually enters my life, it transforms into a routine marks on my circadian rhythm. I can cultivate dependency with them, which means I found the most awesome part of keeping an interest, and that is like chatting with your intimate. He knows how to cure your wounds of solitude, and he will never let you down, even during your worst time. And your perseverance proves this fact. Another part I want to claim about being consistent is that you don't get affected by people who deny your interest or say that you're lame at this. If you know me already, or you have read my information, you must be aware that I am also a fan of singing. I tended to join in the local competition twice when I was 11, but throughout I did not receive high honor. One day after my singing, a judge said to my mom privately that I was not capable of singing and I could never control my voice well, and I should just change my course to other fields. I was furious after hearing this comment and decided not to join in any competition ever again. I even thought about quit singing. Just a few days of deliberation before I figured out just one authoritative person's harsh assessment should not convince me to hurt an intimate. My initiative was not singing for others but myself. I love my voice and that's enough to sustain a hobby. Confidence is always the fuel you can manage on your own. While you're having fun doing whatever you love to, time is killed fast and you will find time extremely precious. Not only this process is focused, but your life could be much more brightened with the decoration of your interest. More vitally, your interest can emerge hope, a desire to accomplish more or stay in satisfaction. We shall no longer live for living, but live for a genuine purpose, to elevate ourselves from the internal to external, from the opinion to behavior. We perhaps will seek more opportunities to improve our capability of accepting diversified fields, and more preferences will grow. What we recognized as beauty can be comprehended by many parts. What we recognize it can all start from small interest, and small interest triggers us to elevate or alter our thoughts to a more comprehensive level. Think about this. Finding beauty is the procedure with hope, and our interest stimulates hope by guiding us to overcome the hardship. How terrific as we realize that the storm has already passed and the twilight is straight ahead. Interests motivate us with progress we will make soon or later. Do not disappoint when life beats you down. Remember, destiny is always a two-way conversation. And in some cases, you are able to steer your wheel on a ship named after you on the sea called life. Look at the corner when you go back home. Maybe there is something as a surprise you haven't explored for years. If it happens to show up in the times of arduousness, that's the exact time you need it. Seize it for your coming days. And your little dream could start from this point. Those instances in your life, do not throw them away. This could be priceless memories encoding inside you, also a marvelous site for college application. Looking back at this, everything deserves a chance to be beautiful. The process of seeking interest, the approaches of holding it, hopes that occur, and your transformation throughout this observation. You cannot only inspire yourself, but all the people around you. Just influence them with your perception, knowledge, and generosity. Helping them discover the beauty with a similar way you have walked before. In this age, no matter who you are, your identity is not recognized by your past or your career, but your attitude, how you choose to consume limited time. Learning with interest, treasuring it fully, and the beauty you catch can fill your days even in times of grief. Your discovery is beauty, and the approaches are beautiful. 
Subsequently, as you felicitate for the moment, the most reason would be what you are reluctant to if you are about to leave this world, your connection with interest. Ever feel depressed? Cannot find a reason to move on? Think about what you're interested in and let go of your hands. Chase the ones and you will love this. For you're the one and only in this world who grasps your intention of beauty completely. You will be found beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>